I'm Kevin Cameron here in the artificial stillness and relative order of my shop and I want to talk about piston rings and how they work. This happens to be a two-stroke piston because when I put out my hand that's what it fell on. The split piston ring was invented in 1852 by a locomotive superintendent named John Ramsbottom. There's the split. Before that time Pistons either had oakum packing or nothing at all. And when uh, that pioneer of the steam engine, James Watt, came back from a new uh, boring mill, he was very pleased with the cylinder that he'd just seen produced. He said, it doth not differ from a true cylinder in any part by more than the thickness of an old shilling. We've achieved better precision in recent years. The piston ring uh, does the job of pressing hard enough against the cylinder wall to achieve the basis of a seal. If you fitted the entire piston that tightly, the friction would be overwhelming. So the trend in recent years has been for piston rings to become thinner this way. It was quite common when I was a boy for piston rings to be three millimeters thick and now they're under one millimeter and the reason for that is obvious that the less area you have pressing firmly against the cylinder wall the lower the friction. When the combustion process is started by the spark and the pressure in the cylinder begins to rise it flows into the piston ring groove across the top of the piston ring and presses against the inside of the ring uniformly, inflating the ring against the cylinder wall. The rate at which that gas flows into the ring groove is controlled by how much clearance there is between the ring and the groove. And the fact that the ring is pressed firmly down against the bottom of its groove and out against the cylinder wall by combustion gas is attested by the fact that the wear surface is shiny, that presses against the cylinder wall, and the bottom of the ring, this ring hasn't been in service for a while, but it's quite shiny on the bottom, and the top tends to collect deposits. The top piston ring does most of the job of sealing. The second piston ring is there to help out with the sealing job as the top ring ages, and it can also be, in some cases, a heat transfer ring. The pistons of large marine diesels have rows of rings down them and when they tried to do away with them their pistons got hot. In the case of a four-stroke there will be a top compression ring, a second compression ring and then an oil scraper. The oil scraper is there to make sure that the amount of oil that stays on the cylinder wall after the piston has passed by is quite limited so that it doesn't get into the combustion chamber. You can uh, see how things used to be by watching an old movie and seeing that the cars, pre-war automobiles, all smoked. Scraper ring technology was not highly developed in those days. That's a piston ring story. As to how the piston ring came into being, how it functions by combustion gas getting behind it and pushing it out against the cylinder wall and why there are three piston rings on four-stroke pistons.